Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we're taking a look at something that is pretty interesting. It's called Interior Model 0.6 and this is from the folks at Interior Model and they are giving out 8,000 plus high quality 3D model for 88% off. Now this is something that I was super interested about did get it and i just want to show you guys what and what you can get with it they've just recently released a 0.26 update it now comes with nicer looking materials that you can work with so for those who like to get this you can simply go over to the link in the description where you can grab this right now and start playing with it especially now that it's doing this whole 88 percent off so with that said let's dive right into blender so you can see what and what you would be getting with this so with Blender simply open up right here, how you get things going is simple. This comes as a zip file, so you need to unzip the file and then you're getting with the file a 25.0 and a 0.26. So what I would recommend is unzip the 25.0 and then unzip the 0.26, grab all the files that you've got there, paste it in the interior models 25 folder and then unzip the material and then you can simply come right into Blender, go over to edit, go over to preference and load them right here within your asset browser. Once you've got this sorted, click on the burger menu, save your preference and close the window. So what we need to do is to drag this all the way out, click right here, go over to asset browser, and from here we can see interior models. So you've got models for a lot of things. You're looking for bad stuff, there are models for that. You're looking for bad stuff, you've got models for that. These are nice high quality looking beds. Let's actually drag one of them in and they load pretty quick, which is something that i'm very impressed about if we go over to cabinet we do have a couple of cabinets i can drag and drop that cabinet right around there then we've got some carpet right there we've got chairs there's quite a lot of chairs that you'll be getting with this one a ton of them to be honest so you do find different kinds of chairs right here and you can drag as many of them that you want into your scene and start decorating your scene. You've got some cuttings, which you can also drag into your scene, which are pretty nice. Then you've got some decorations. And, uh, you know, with these decos, you can place them in various places if you want. Then within the door section, we have a couple of doors that you can work with. We also have some electronics and these are also nice electronics there's just a lot of electronics that you can find here and i think these are very high quality ones from tvs to refrigerators basically anything that you consider as electronics there is definitely something like that that you're going to find here we've got some vinyls as well so which you can bring into your scene and there is just so so much stuff that has to do with electronics that you can have here for kids we do have a couple of kids stuff that you can work with we do have some nice kitchen cabinets and kitchen stuff as well We've got some nice lamp and we're going to bring a few of those in, you know, just to beautify the scene. Of course, materials has a whole different category, which we're going to talk about later. We do have mattresses. Of course, we don't need any one now. And for Miro, I think we should just put one within our scene, which might just make it look a bit cool. Now, we've also got some paintings, which is also interesting. These actually accentuate the look of an interior. We've got some pet stuff some plants, some shelf stuff, which is also really, really good because, you know, once you're looking at interiors, you do need shelf and these has a truckload of shelves. So you can literally find most IKEA like styled shelves and different kinds of shelves right here. So you can bring in as many of those shelves that you want. And at the same time, we do have some nice sofa. You can bring in a sofa, you know, exchange the previous one that we have bring in some table. So if you're thinking about table chairs, you can bring all of them in. If we go over to the table set, we do have table sets. And in this case, we're just going to bring in this dining table set for six. That is pretty standard. And of course, we can bring in a TV, just, you know, scale it a bit more, hang it on the wall, go over to the window, add a few windows here and there, just to make our scene look pretty nice and make some adjustments. You know, now that we have all of these, we can just go ahead, make a few adjustments, add a few more things, beautify the scene overall. So you do have amazing asset there is just a ton of assets with this that you can use to make your scene come to life for this we have no trees and we also have no books these are planned for future updates but outside these two everything you have here is fair game so you can literally just go in and start creating amazing looking interiors by working with all of this cool asset that comes with this now once we're done with this we're simply going to build a bit of a wall around our interior just to make things look a bit more homely and for these, we'll need a simple plane, which we're going to extrude on various ends. And of course, this is just very basic modeling stuff that we're doing. So we're just going to model a few parts and cut out the spaces for the window. So just in case we shine lights through those parts, 
the window can actually bring in light into the scene. So with this, if you're thinking about building interior scenes, you do have amazing looking assets and props that you can use to build your scene how you want. So there is just a ton of things that you can do right now, which is pretty amazing. So we do have this nice looking scene, looks pretty clean. So if we simply go over to the kitchen side, we do have some nice stuff. I'm just gonna move this a little bit inwards. So we do have some nice kitchen stuff right here. And you can also see that we've got nice dining area. You know, if we're thinking about walking, we have some walk stuff right here. The beds right there, we've got a cupboard for some clothing. We have the nice sitting area. However, if you're thinking about building interiors and maybe you don't want to do the whole modeling stuff by hand, you need something that is a bit procedural. I guess you quick professional looking result. by every chance, go ahead and check out the folks at Procedural Interiors. They do have a nice procedural set of tools that you can use to build things up rapidly. So if you're looking at, you know, building interior layouts and, you know, sketching out that layout, making it look pretty presentable and nice, then of course, this is definitely your go-to add-on. This also comes with about 150 ready to use assets. So this is a bit of a shout out just in case you're thinking about building your interiors a bit more professionally rather than modeling them by hand. Another thing that we have with the interiors is also material. So if we simply go over to the material side, Remember, when we were adding up the library, we did add two libraries. So if we go over to the material side, we do have a good number of materials. So we can actually check out the materials. Nice stuff. So we have from colors to glass, we've got leather, we've got marble, velvet, wood, cement, you know, curtains, fabric, and also metal. So if you're thinking about interiors and you're looking for something that has a lot of assets that you can work with, of course, this add-on will definitely get you up to speed as it does come with a lot of things that you might fall in love with. And for sure, if you'd like to get this, this is currently doing an 88% off and you're getting over 8,000 assets and it's a lot of things. So if you want to get this, there's going to be a link in the description that'll bring you right here where you can get it. Of course, if you're also thinking about getting even more, you can go ahead and check out their mega pack. It comes with 15,000 stuff, heavy, high quality. You can go through, check this one out. On the other hand, if you're also looking for more assets that you can work with, then you might want to consider taking a look at the Funny Kids. And Funny Kids is actually from the folks at Black Deer Studio. This is currently doing a 25% off. It does come with some very cool stuff as well. So in case you're looking for more assets that you can use, Internic, which is also an interior asset pack, version 2.0 is also available and this comes with about 450 plus assets high quality stuff too so you can come through and check these ones out for those looking for scene stuff maybe you like to build scenes or you want to just have like a full scene that you can drag and drop into blender the folks at 3d shaker they have a lot of these and all of these comes with their own interiors so from exteriors to interiors you do have nice stuff from there and of course the same thing can also be said for the folks at Evermotion. So if interiors and exteriors are your thing, then all of these will definitely provide you something that you can pick up and start working with. So this is it. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.